Good day, I'm Cody Ann Barrett and welcome to Frontline Business. The Destination Experience Visionaries Summit for Global Billionaire Class will be in Kingston on May 17 and May 18. The three-year-old event hosts high-level entrepreneurs. It bills itself as an event where deals are made. According to Kurth Anthony Hamilton, founder and curator of the event, since its inception in Jamaica in 2014, the destination experience has evolved into an innovative platform, connecting people, ideas, and opportunities with the ultimate goal through entrepreneurship and engagement to unlock the potential of each island nation in the region and underserve emerging markets around the world. In January of 2017, the community pulled together a collective of individuals controlling equity exceeding 100 billion US dollars, a historic feat. To date, the curators estimate that the community has generated deals exceeding 300 million US dollars in investment for Jamaica across a number of industries. On Monday, Digicel announced that its CEO for Trinidad and Tobago, John Delves, has decided to leave the business. In a statement, Digicel said Mr. Delves made a significant and lasting contribution to the business in roles in the Pacific before moving to the Caribbean to become CEO of Digicel Antigua and Barbuda. This was followed by a role as regional CEO for the Northern OECS, followed by a move to Trinidad and Tobago to head up Digicel's operations. He spent a year in group operations based in Jamaica as chief commercial officer before returning to Digicel Trinidad and Tobago as CEO. In Tuesday's trading session, the JSC combined index declined by 1,394 points to close at 302,043. Overall market activity resulted from trading in 54 stocks, of which 24 advanced, 24 declined, and 6 traded firm. The junior market index declined by 26 points to close at 2,904. Among the winners were 1834 Investments. AMG Packaging and Paper, Barita Investments, Cable and Wireless, and Caribbean Flavors and Fragrances. Stocks declined for Caribbean Flavors and Fragrances, Caribbean Cement, Carreras Limited, Dolphin Cove, and Epley Limited. Stocks traded firm for 138 Student Living, Caribbean Producers, Subony Group, Consolidated Bakeries, and Honeybun. Jamaica Stock Exchange was the volume leader with over 15 million units, followed by Alaska distributors with over 3 million units and Jamaica producers with over 2 million units. On the foreign exchange market, $126.44 is the average selling rate for the American currency. The Canadian dollar is trading at $98.23 while it's costing $176.62 for the pound sterling and $158.25 for the euro. News in oil. Oil prices were little changed on Tuesday, with Brent futures retreating after hitting $71 a barrel as the dollar recovered from earlier losses and as the market continues to stagnate after strong gains last week. The oil market has been supported by concerns about possible disruption to Middle East supplies, particularly with both Brent and U.S. crude benchmarks trading near highs last seen in late February. Brent crude futures were up $0.08 cents to $70.22. West Texas Intermediate WTI futures fell $0.08 cents to $65.48 a barrel after touching $66.41. And that's it for Frontline Business. I'm Cody Ann Barrett. Regional stories are next after the break. <music>